Okay, so I know a few videos back, I talked about working through the night school, the Moonlight Magic deck. I got mine at TJ Maxx. I believe you can get them on Amazon. And then I also went on Amazon and bought by the same author, Notes for the Night. This is a guided journal for Moonlight, Moonlit Magic. And then the Night School Lessons in Moonlight Magic, all by Maya Toll. And so, now this card I drew, I haven't really worked on these the way I intended to when I started them because then my husband was home and it's like, it becomes a big deal just to be able to go outside and sit in the dark and stuff because then he's come peering out the door. What are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that. So it, you know, you're in the middle of, you know, trying to just be with the night and notice things and everything. And then, you know, what are you doing? So it's been sporadic to say the least. But this card that I had picked was about alchemy. And I'm just gonna read a little first before we talk about the card. So the journaling I was doing was alchemy for everyday problems. Um, alchemy was all about recreating a precious substance such as gold, silver, or gemstones, a, a purple dye, from another substance. Not going into too much detail, but if you haven't read about the history of alchemy or what it's all about, it's pretty interesting. So ancient cultures, they wanted to know how things come together. What were these things made of? And... Could they be changed into something else? Yes, they could be changed into something else. They just had to figure out the first two things. So they believed they could remove the impurities of a substance and then make a whole new substance. They also wanted to mix substances and make something new with different properties. They had two steps. First, remove the impurities and then combine the different substances to make a new material. So the card that I drew, alchemy, the step-by-step -step process used in alchemy is incredibly helpful for sorting everyday dilemmas. You have three steps, separate, purify, and then bring it all back together. And the question was, how could you use this process as a problem solving tool. So, let's talk this through. All right, so you look at your life or situation and you identify the unnecessary stuff or the, the bad thoughts. You know how you write something, how we write something down on a piece of paper and like a habit, okay, that we want to get rid of and then we burn it. Okay, so now we've done that Let's create space instead for growth. Um, journal about your dilemmas, your issues, your problems. Just put it all down on paper. Sometimes in doing that, in journaling, you can see the answer as you're writing about it. So now you want to separate the facts from your feelings about things. Use discernment. Like you already know what or who is influencing you in a way that you feel uncomfortable with, but you don't turn away from it or that person because you may hurt that person's feelings or you'll be giving up control of something. Now, what really matters to you? Find that out. Or maybe a common grounds can be found. So you're working together, maybe building the relationship again or the situation again and then bring in that harmony. Now, in order to grow, you need to nourish your spirit. And this can bring the insights you need. Meditate on it. Create art. Be out in nature. You know, go for a long hike or a long walk. Examine all the experiences that you've had concerning the situation, the person, whatever. 
Take away distractions to keep you from doing that. Your goal is the Philosopher's Stone. So be the alchemist taking a base metal and turning it into gold. Find the elixir of life, rejuvenating yourself and your life. To have, you want to have a solid purpose. Um, so make your intentions strong. Know your inner truth and stand on it. Don't be swayed by someone else's truth. That's their truth. You're working on yours. It's all about your inner transformation. And what you want to do is to find the treasure that is yourself. Turn your base metal into gold. That's just a short video for today. I need to be outside. It's starting to warm up. So until next video, blessings of the dark and wild.